We have about 40 seconds to go before race two. Uh, we had uh, um, 14 boats over early in race one, of which 10 came back and four were OCS. And are already some boats that are a little bit too close to line, although in general we're looking uh, pretty good here. Uh, boats uh, heading towards the pin. Unfortunately, there's two of them battling it out for the same spot. Coming up on the gun, and it might be an all clear, hard to tell. Oh yeah, looks like it's gonna be all clear. It is all clear. Looking great. I think uh, Warp Drive might be second from the pin. That would be Wade Edwards. One of the boats was fighting it out for the pin. Can't quite see who this is. 109. We'll check that out for you. It's uh, Russ Hancock who took the pin and is giving uh, Wade lots of uh, bad air down there. And uh, they're going to be rolled by, I think, Dave Franzel. Although Dave's not in perfectly clean air because Russ Hancock is uh, in such a, a commanding spot. I'm glad we pulled the pin back a little bit. I wish we had pulled it back a little more. The breeze has gone left a little bit. So Wade now appears to be in a bit of a footing mode. Uh, this is going to be painful, but he was at the favorite end, so he'll still have a number of boats after he finally gets his air clear. Uh, Franzel uh, can't hang in that back wind, plus he's free to tack now. So they go, unless Hancock tacks in Italy, which will free up uh, good wind for, um, for Wade Edwards. Santusa's off to a good start here. Remember, they uh, were one of the uh, best finishers that started correctly in the first race. Also off to a good start is um, 35 Zedika down there. Yes, with Les Beckwith, they're doing well. John Powers has stuck back in here a little bit. This is uh, Fred Baker, uh, and they had a good start. Buried a little bit behind him there is uh, the Sorcerer with Tim O'Day at the helm. And they're probably going to go all the way to the ley line. I'm not... Uh, not real thrilled by a guy standing up in the slot. Uh, yeah, he probably has his weight in the right place, but his windage is a problem. So that, that, those people need to be sitting down. Even the skipper is creating a little bit of windage there. Well, Franzel is totally footed out away from Russ Hancock, and it's just crushing now uh, the boats on his hip. Wade has actually uh, improved quite a bit on Russ Hancock and will still be counted among the leaders which should include uh, Santuza here with Fred Baker and Les Beckwith on Ica. Ica's coming across on starboard pretty strong. Santuza will probably try to leave bow them, but not successfully. Francel's about to round. Yeah, he's only got one more length before tacking. And it'll be close for second between Ica and Russ Hancock, who still has that jib he's well out. Oh, Malcolm's up there this race in number 108, just tacking now into some bad air, uh, but not overstanding, for sure. So here is uh, Russ, he's going to dip Ika in round third, and Wade's, come, Wade's got a problem. He's coming full head of steam, but there will be starboard boats by the time he gets here. I said Wade might be sixth and I think that's going to be about right. He's got to make a pretty massive dip. And he should be clean in a gap to go behind Malcolm Gefter and tack in for six. Uh, Malcolm tacked uh, right on the ley line in bad air, and so they are very down speed right now. Uh, Wade uh, just tacked and has at least as much speed despite the 110 degree tack. Early set by uh, on Malcolm's boat. And I think they can carry the spinnaker on that tight reach if they get the sheet in a little more. Now, oh, still not quite flying. So it didn't really help to get it up early. But then again, uh, it's going now. And Wade's just setting his now. All right, next around is um, Eliza. I'm sure steering that boat. 
uh, the sorcerer, uh, no, not sorcerer, this is, uh, yeah, sorcerer's neck. And then we have, uh, is that, uh, John Dexter, who won the first race. A pleasant surprise for them, after crossing the finishing line in fourth. John Power is just getting around now with uh, Adam Berry on DiCapo and Chris Bogan on Alex with the orange chute going up. The racing class is uh, just about to round and opportunity for them. One, the orange chute is uh, going slow, so if they were to do a jibe set, uh, they could get away from that boat. Um, nah, maybe jibe set's not the way to go. The wind has gone left, and so starboard uh, pole is the favored way to go right now. Okay, uh, checking in on uh, this run leg, we see uh, Dave Franzel still in the lead down there. Uh, although they're in real light spot of breeze, and Ika is catching them. Uh, with Les Beckwith. Uh, meanwhile, the best breeze is uh, last place, uh, John Power, who did a complete 720, is now uh, sailing lower and faster than everybody in a nice puff coming off the airport. So uh, they may still be last at the moment, but I would expect to see them in the mix of the uh, back half of the fleet uh, by the time they get down to Lourdes Mark, because this group keeps sailing up into less wind. And this is really... Uh, uh, an enormous battle for, for third going on here among a, a whole lot of boats. Not only all the boats in this picture, but uh, some of these boats uh, might uh, get in the mix for third as well. The seal over there. There's a seal. Yeah, see it? In front of the white boats. Okay, so uh, Franzel's still in the lead, having to sail pretty high angles due to the later wind where they are. Meanwhile, uh, the middle of the fleet is sailing lower angles and more breeze coming down. And although they won't catch Franzel, uh, they're gonna have an interesting battle when they get to this gate.